Hi and welcome to another Witch Doctor's How To. Today we're going to show you something a little different. Um, we're actually making a front fairing for uh, any of the bikes with a headlight, a round headlight. Nobody else makes this. So kind of what we're just showing you, just something fun today. Not really, don't really expect you to do this. Uh, but what we're doing is we're making the mold that, so that we can make the fairings. So whenever you do mold making, you kind of have to do the reverse of everything. It's actually all backward. We make the mold, then we put the part in the mold, pop it out, and we have a part. So it's, it's a little bit different. So I just wanted to kind of show you one of the steps that's involved. We've already done a couple of the steps, so we're not showing you that. But what we have to do is we have to build the fiberglass up. So what we did was we cut a bunch of big fiberglass pieces, you know, that are going to go on there. We have some fiberglass, I already mixed it up, and I like to use a little tiny uh, paint roller. So I just kind of pour the fiberglass on and roll it out. This is actually, um, you know, how boats are made. A lot of stuff's made this way. They use more automatic tools, you know, spray guns and stuff, but when you do little small projects, this is what they call hand laid up fiberglass, because you're doing it all by hand. So like I say, you just kind of spread this out. And you can actually try this. You know, you can look online and see how to do mold building. You can actually make your own small parts. It's actually it's really very easy once you know what to do and you kind of see it done. And as always, if you have any questions, you can always give me a call. And I'll tell you, we've made everything from race car bodies to little spoilers. And this little section we're working on now is the... Uh, like the fiberglass department at Witch Doctors, we do all our spoilers and um, a lot of parts like that. Right here we make fenders and actually build some products for some other companies, private label stuff. So basically that's the first step. Now we, like I said, we have some fiberglass pre-cut. We just kind of lay it on there, put it down. Sometimes you have to make some relief cuts because when you have a bend, it doesn't want to bend real easy. So you have to kind of tear it. This kind of glass. This is just stuff you can buy right at Pet Boys or AutoZone or, you know, it's nothing fancy. We buy it in big rolls, but you just kind of stick it down wherever it doesn't want to stick, kind of make that tear. And you don't need a lot of resin. You'll see, you just kind of roll it back on and you'll see like there, it'll start to disappear. You'll start to see that white go away. Once the white goes away, that means that you actually have enough resin in the fiberglass cloth itself. Like I say, you can see, and you'll see, you'll see definitely the, the spots you miss, you know, won't, they'll still be that white color. So we'll just do a real quick thing here for you, so you can see what, like I said, what the steps are. And this would be no different if you wanted to make a small little RC car or something. This is exactly how you do it. Just put a little bit of resin around. And I don't want to say you really can't get too much resin. You can. You know, you don't want it dripping on the floor. But you just want to make sure it's all rolled down and you don't have any air pockets in it. Because the air pockets means it's weak. And that's where you'll, you'll have a problem. Like I said, what this fairing is, is going to be, is we are the only ones to make a fairing for the Victory Bikes with a round headlight. All the other companies make fairings that use either like a Harley type fairing, that the headlight is cut out, you know, it's open around the bottom. And a lot of guys don't like that, they don't like how that fits. So, we decided to make our own and we're building a custom bike. I don't know if you guys have followed along the custom kingpin we're building. Like some of that, we'll just trim that off. Just roll that down around the edges. And you can see how it kind of, you know, like I said, the white disappears. The white of the fiberglass disappears. And what you would do would be, we've already got three layers of fiberglass on here, so we need to build it up to five layers.
And then once you get that all on there, you need a fiberglass roller. It's just a special roller. And what it does, it, it compacts the fiberglass down and it also squishes out all the air bubbles. And I don't know if you can hear the air bubbles popping when I'm doing this, but it'll make it nice and flat, nice and smooth. And you just keep going until you get it all. And depending on how you mix the fiberglass, you know, you have a working time, it'll get hard. So you only have so long before it starts to harden up, so you have to keep that in mind. Outside temperature, if it's hot out, it dries much faster. But for the most part, I just wanted to show you guys that step. Uh, and that's what we'll do. We'll just keep covering the whole thing with layers and rolling it down and building the mold. So what we'll show you next is once we get all this done, we'll show you real quick how you um, actually separate the part from the mold and you'll see an actual part. So until next time, thanks. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we gotta cut all this edging off, the stuff that slopped over the edge. We gotta cut that off. So I, I just use an air hacksaw, makes it real easy. You're just gonna go around. What you don't wanna do is uh, cut into the mold. You want to make sure you don't do that or you ruin what you did. actually right here. I actually fiberglass it to my stand a little bit. That way it doesn't flop all over when I'm working on it. So I cut everything except that. So it's still attached there. trying to do is just get this scraggly edge stuff cut off. Because the next step what we're going to do is pop it out of the mold and you don't want to have all that hanging on there. That's pretty good. And you, you just, you don't have to be real accurate. Just, you know, don't hit the mold. So now I'll cut it loose of the, the stand. Okay, and then that's basically the mold. What you see inside here is our part. So we're going to clean these edges up a little bit more. Now we'll come back and we'll show you how to pop this out of the mold. Okay, so we got it flipped over. So what you want to do is you want to find that edge right here around the whole thing. You want to try to, you're trying to separate this. So what we do is I got just a plastic scraper. You don't want to use anything hard that's, that's uh, metal that will gouge the mold. So you just kind of take the scraper and find the edge and just kind of See it spread there? You're just trying to get it to spread. And you're going to go all, once you get it, you're going to just go all the way around and try to get it to, to start popping apart. And it's kind of hard. Sometimes you got to use a couple wedges. You 
put a couple of them in there. And like I say, you don't want to force anything because if you do, you're going to screw something up. Sometimes whack the mold and get it to come loose. Sometimes they come right apart and other times they're really hard. A lot of times you can take air and blow it in there. And the air will help break it loose. So we got it pretty good on that side. So you just want to kind of do that all the way around. You can hear it popping. That's the that's popping loose. And there's steps that we did before this when we actually built the mold. You uh, you want to wax it real good so it doesn't stick. And the other thing you do is you spray a release agent on there. And the release agent helps this come apart. If you don't do that stuff, this will never come apart. And this is a pretty complex deal. It's got a lot of different shapes and stuff. That's why it's going to be so hard to pop out. If you have a real simple, you know, a real simple shape this will come right out. Just do the same thing, you just kind of keep working it. Until you get it all loose. Sometimes on the really stubborn ones what I found if you put a little water down in there, that'll help break apart the uh, release agent because it's actually like a soap type stuff. And it'll break that release agent apart. careful. I don't know if you can hear it cracking or not, but that's when it's cracking loose. Normally they're not this hard, but on this one, we didn't wax it first. I wanted to do something different, so I didn't wax it. So it's be a little harder to come loose. So we'll uh, come back once I get this a little farther. Okay, so we're still just prying around, but you can see the gap's getting bigger. So what you want to do is just kind of pry that a little bit. We'll take some more air. Get that in there. There. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just popped loose. And that pops out. Now, I know it's all dirty looking, but this is, this green stuff is actually the release agent that's on there. That'll wash right off with uh, soap and water. So that's the actual part that we're going to put on the bike. This is the mold that we made. So what we got to do is you just you take your mold now and you wash it up and you clean it real good and you actually to make a really good mold you actually take this and you buff it you know you buff it super super smooth and then you would wax this and um, that way nothing will stick but since this was our first one we have to do that now. It's called conditioning the mold so now that we have the mold we need to prep all this. 
So we'll show you all that later. But that's basically, in a nutshell, that's how you make a mold. So once this is all done and we have it waxed, like I just said, we'll come in, we'll spray the gel coat, we'll put the fiberglass mat down in there, lay it all in by hand, do it, and then we'll do the same thing again. We'll pop it apart and we'll have another fairing, and then that fairing will be ready to go. That's basically how you make fiberglass parts with a mold. So, like I said, nothing really hard, just kind of show you a little behind the scene type thing uh, here at Witch Doctors. Thanks for watching.